Race number nine in the next race to preview and it's a pretty even field once again as indeed a number of these races are. It's over the 1400 metres, it's a class three and the Hulk at the top of the book is aiming for three in a row. Lewis has had a stable change, he's gone from Douglas White to join Mi Choi who's taken the visor and the cross nose band off and thrown the blinkers back on again. Splendid Living, a first starter for Ricky Yu has had four trials as has Perfect Mary Noel, the first starter for Benno Jung. King's Capital gets a wide draw again and normally gets back. Kazi Ferrazzi's back to the 1400 from 1600 last time. Surface change for Moidaki. He was placed over the track and distance two starts ago when last on the grass. Fantastic show. Won at 44 to 1 on the class drop in class 4 last time. He's back up in two class 3. Cheerful day, second time this grade. And Leap of Faith is fitter for two runs. Back Tom in race number 9. Yeah, no natural leader in this uh, race. So it might be left to uh, Moraki to uh, do all the donkey work in front. Um, he ran OK. Uh, two back, and uh, he might be prominent here. Uh, Splendid Living is a, a newcomer. He had um, some speed in his most uh, recent barrier trial, along with Perfect to Pair, who's normally pretty handy. It's a little tricky for Leap of Faith, and uh, Joe Maria out of gate at number 12. Cheerful Days. Now, Cheerful Days is a horse that actually has led in the past, and when he has led in the past, he's got quite fired up in front, and it uh, hasn't worked out well for him. Alfie Chan has a really strong book of rides at this meeting. It's one of the strongest he's had, including the ride on the Inform the Hulk. Alfie, you pick a good time to get on an Inform the Hulk out of Casper's Barn. Uh, yes, um, the Hook. I've been riding him the, um, <coughs> a few stars ago, and then he still didn't know how to win him yet. And then um, luckily boss um, get him to the right way and get him in the winning circle until he get his first win in Hong Kong, he just, he just kept winning. He's won his last two over 1,200 and 1,400. 1,400 again this week, and you're drawn beautifully in barrier number one. Uh, yes, definitely. Um, the draw will definitely help him, because um, maybe he can just put in just behind the pace or maybe three back on the fence would be a lot easier. And with him racing on the fence and back in the field being his normal racing pattern, can you see plenty of speed in this race? Uh, I think it's fair, and uh, as, as long as um, I've got a good draw, so I can just, um, maybe I can put him where if I want to. You've been with Casper for a good few months now. Casper's been giving you plenty of opportunities. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm being very grateful that um, I transferred it to, to him. He's been very supporting me as he committed to the club before, and then I'm happy to keep working hard for him, and then hopefully can get more results from. Actually carries one pound less than what he did when he won one last start. It does the Hulk with that claim for Alfie. Race rivals here, Paul, they include Perfect Pair. Now this is two starts ago. He wasn't quite as sharp at his run after this one. Yeah, well, I'll go back to this run though. It was pretty good, Perfect Pair. Now Lewis has changed stables now. Uh, has drawn wide, so he'll get back. He'll be running on. I thought it was a really good run here from Perfect Pair. He's been before I to his last day, he'd been very consistent, and I think a win from him is quite close. Yeah, I like Perfect Pier in this. Uh, good runs, uh, two and three back. He sort of sat 30, ground away a little bit one pace, I thought, uh, uh, last time out. But that race that he's come out of uh, and won out of the Super 10 uh, race, um, Hall of Champions, I should say, has come out and won out of that. So I'd be willing to stick Perfect Pier in there. I think he's uh, not too far away from a win. Fantastic show, uh, Tom. He'd been struggling big time in Class 3. Finally got that class drop to... Class four and was tailed right off, couldn't go a yard early, and then all of a sudden rolls home and wins at big odds. He'd been running terribly, uh, fantastic show, and then he got back down in grade, and uh, he was running like he was missing a leg in the early stages, but he found it again over the, the final stages uh, here and uh, went straight past them all. It was a strange race, but uh, picked them up and put them down pretty solidly in the end. Fantastic show. Yeah, and when he did win his races earlier in his career, he did hold his form really well because he started winning them in a row. And he's still a really well-rated horse with a lightweight. So, look, now he's found form. I'm, I'm, I've got him in on a minor line. All right, so the horse named after racing to win Paul is in. Who else is? Yeah, fantastic show. Yeah, I've got the one on top, though. I think I'm going to go with the Hulk. I think he can win uh, three in a row. I don't think this is an overly strong race. So with that uh, Predis claim, he comes in really nice at the weights. Perfect pairs going well at the moment. Then fantastic show. And Moidaki, it'll be interesting to see if he does get to the front. If he does, uh, he has run well on the turf in the past. One, six, nine and eight.
Six perfect tip here on top for me. I think he's close to a, a win. I've got flying victory, and it was a better run from him last time out, although he's been a little bit in and out. He jumped awkwardly, but ran home well out wider. Uh, Leap of Faith just drawn awkwardly, and uh, I did put fantastic show in the end, but um, whether he can back that uh, last start performance up, back up and greater, I'm not sure. So 6, 12, 13, and 9. And the favourite is the man we heard in the interview, Alfie Chan's ride. The Hulk, he's come up at 4.3 and current favourite early for race number nine.